I want to show you the correct and easy way of removing these injector return lines. There's a couple of different ways that um, people are showing on the internet and I, I noticed some of them actually damaged um, the cap here and the plastic. And uh, I'm going to run you through ISTA, the user manual, the BMW Workshop user manual. And I'm going to show you how they uh, show the correct procedure of removing this. They have a special tool which we don't have. I looked up the part number. You can't actually buy it. It's only available for BMW. So we're going to use something that anyone has in their workshop. I'm going to use this large flat screwdriver. Um, also, I'm going to share my manuals. And I will put a link in the description, uh, the website where I bought my manuals from. And I'm also going to include my referral code. It's KM for Keen Mechanic 22. So KM22, that'll give you 22% discount if you want to buy repair manuals for your own car. It's not just for this engine. I will include the one from this engine, but I'm also going to include uh, a link for the website where I bought my manual. Now, let's proceed with the actual procedure. So what you want to do is... You want to place, let me put some more light in here. So you want to place your screwdriver on top of this nut. This is for the high pressure pipe. So just very gently, you can see how I'm working. Um, so put it underneath and raise it slightly. Okay, and keep raising it. Now I'll show you, I'll show you what I'm going to do now. So instead of prying on the plastic injector here, don't do anything stupid. Give yourself a little bit extra support. So I have one of these. And uh, just keep raising it. Okay, so this is fully lifted now. When let me just point with the screwdriver. When the plastic hits this black part here, these two little arms, so this is the stop. So you don't have to go crazy here. So once this happens, now let's see if we can pull it up like that. It should just come out. That's it. It's as simple as that. So you've got a small O-ring here. So you wanna, this is a tiny little, let me just rotate the engine. There's a tiny little o-ring here, which you don't want to damage. And this is how easy it is to remove these return lines, injector, fuel, oil, return lines, whatever you want to call them. In the manual, they call them oil, even though this is diesel. Um, so I just call them injector return lines. It's as simple as that. Now, let's try and do another one um, in the same way. So pry it here. I'm going to change the angle, okay? Pry it up, lift it up. I'm going to insert my, this is, I'm doing this just to give myself a little bit more leverage. So you can, you can use whatever you want. Just make sure your hand doesn't slip. Just be very gentle. These parts are plastic. You don't want to break anything or snap anything. So gently wiggle it and lift it up. And that's the second one out. Now let's proceed with the third one. Let me just spin the camera a little bit. So hopefully I'm going to remove this cable out of your way. And let's proceed with the next one. So what you want to do is Just to make it easier for installation later on, we want to retract this fully up. So this white part has to touch the black bit here. So we don't, we don't have much left. So just give it a wiggle.
that's it that's all you have to do this is fully raised now so we've gone we've done three out of six i'm gonna try and do the other one number four so let's proceed with number four now Let's go to number five. Number five should be easy because we have good leverage here. Sometimes the caps, these white caps come out. So that's all return lines removed on a N57 530D. So yeah, this is it guys. Um, hopefully you found this helpful. I couldn't find um, a lot of content on the internet on this subject. Uh, and that's why I decided to show you this. I have a lot of uh, content on the N57. Um, so I thought I'll include this extra bit just uh, just to show you what they look like so the, no damage every single one of them came out without any well number five put up a bit of a fight but i was super gentle i didn't want to break anything and uh yeah that's that's how easy it is to do it so just make sure all your o-rings are in place they're not damaged and uh just before you start removing injectors and pipes just make sure you mark them um you can't probably mix them up to be honest with you, but just make sure that you have numbers on them if you're a bit uh, fresh in this business, just to save you a bit of time when you're putting it back. So hopefully you enjoy this and I'll see you in the next one.